okay? It is night number two here at California Screen America. We're here with Fluffy and Richie, and that's Railblazer, and it is past midnight, and so even though the park is open until one, they actually Yo, close off the coasters early, so I will not be riding it again for a while. I ended up with a total of seven rides, and I loved every single one of them. This thing is a work of art. It is so great. I'm gonna have a review up soon. But we're about to go through a scare zone. What scare zone is this? River's Revenge. Rip, yeah. I, something, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so we'll see if we get any scares. Um, in my opinion, of the three scare zones, this is oh, the no, worst. Oh no. So, I mean, we'll see. Oh, great. So, yeah. It's very crowded here, so it's kind of hard to get scares when there's so many people. narrow as Railblazer's track. Ah. Alright. Yeah, so we got a total of zero scares. Yeah. Yay. So, as you can see, Railblazer's still running. It currently has a two-hour line, so they close up early so that they can let the line uh, fade out by the time the park is closed. And it might still be running by the time the park closes. So, um, yeah, but it's it's great. Uh, end up with, I think, four or five rides on Gold Striker. Two, three on flight deck. So I'd say it was very successful. Um, yeah, I, I love this thing. Um, so the, really, the only reason we were able to get that many rides on is we were lucky enough to have fast lane and fright lane for both yesterday and today, which has been so helpful. Um, honestly, with these crowds, I really couldn't have been able to ride this beauty and. Uh, some of the other great rides here without it. So um, we have our Fright Lane here. It is very, it's very hard to tell. I'm gonna uh, pull it off here and show you guys and hopefully bring it into the light so you can see it a bit more. There we go. So um, as you can see, we've done all except for Roadkill Roadhouse, which actually we did yesterday. Uh, but notice, we're, we're having this discussion because we're, we find it very fascinating. So um, they have marked three of them off with a pen. Or four of them off with pen saying we did them. Three of them were marked with the hole punch saying we did them. So with Roadkill Roadhouse, we are waiting to see if they will hole punch it or mark it off with a pen and see if they will tie it or if they will, uh, if it will be a, a, a clean sweep, not a clean sweep, but just like easy win for the pen, pen marking up. We, we don't know. What do you think? Will it be a pen or a hole punch? I think it's going to be a pen. I think pen. I think, I think pen. So they only let you do each one uh, once when you get Fright Lane, um, which is fine with me. Um, so at this point in where the park is, what is open, it is pretty much just the uh, mazes and whatnot. So we don't really have much of a choice of what we could do. Um, but it's been it's been an overall great day. We saw an awesome show earlier. Yeah. Ed so this is El Alfonso. Ed The, the second, yes, Hugh Jackman is definitely number one, but this guy is number two. He is charismatic, he's very quippy, and he puts a great show on. And uh, so he's a magician at the flight deck uh, theater, and he's very good. Some of his tricks were outstanding. Oh yeah, it's also family Magic friendly. It's, a, it's, it's not so, totally friendly. So this guy. <laughs> This dude in the audience kind of heckles him because he like said a dirty joke or whatever, and so the dude says, "Hey, family friendly," and the and this guy Ed Alfonso or whatever just like just totally like calls him out on it and says like three more dirty jokes. <laughs> just to, yeah, it was it was it was pretty funny. Um, but he uh, turned a duck into a dog. He turned a duck into a girl. He turned a balloon into a dog. Like he does this crazy stuff. Um, and he uh, is very funny, um, so I highly recommend it. So we're about to go through Roadkill Roadhouse, and uh, when we come out, we will let you know if it is a mark off or a hole punch. So right. let's go find out. All right, we have emerged from Roadkill Roadhouse, and the winner is neither. It's a tie. It was a hole punch. Oh, wow. So uh, as you can see, there's no clear way to decide how 
how you mark off what you've done if it's tribute pen or a hole punch. Either works. I don't know why they won't just use one. So. <laughs> it was dumb. Uh, it was a, a fine maze. It's kind of like a slaughterhouse and yeah. a lot of other mazes. What was your the best maze? Tooth Fairy. Tooth Fairy? Ditto. What? Yeah, Tooth, tooth Fairy. Yeah. Tooth Fairy was probably the best. Um, I mean, there were, there were some good ones on here. Uh, by far the worst was Cornstalker. I've ever been through. Yeah. It was terrible, which is um, crazy because a lot of the other corn stalkers and other Cedar Fair parks, such as King's Dominion, is the best one there. This, hands down, the worst. Yeah. Not even close. And I think the reason why you think that is because they reconfigured the whole layout. Yeah, they, and it feels like a queue line the entire place. It doesn't feel like a maze. It feels like just a an extending, you can an see extending queue. You can it's see so walk. bad. It's so bad. Um, I also really liked. Uh, they have. Uh, Museum one, uh, that was really good. Um, Zombie High was pretty good. Blackout was pretty cool. It wasn't like the kind where it was all black and you just kind of feel around with the wall. Uh, they did give you a flashlight though and you go through sets, so that was pretty cool. Uh, this here is Blood Drums. Blood Drums, yep, yep, they have this at several other parks. So this is going on right behind. You can see the swings over there. There's Patriot and all that stuff. So we'll kind of end off the block here. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. I'll be at Six Flags Discovery Kingdom tomorrow, so make sure to stay tuned for that vlog here at Coast Studios, and we'll catch you guys later.